Hi everyone, uh, during this video we'll see um, how to bind uh, custom domains within Jelastic dashboard. Uh, so let's start. So first of all, Jelastic supports uh, two main types of domain bindings. Um, first type, uh, by means of standard Jelastic uh, functionality, uh, which is described <coughs> Uh, at gelastic.com uh, slash docs slash custom dash domains so we'll see how it works actually at gelastic.com docs there is a um, separated uh, section domain name management and there is a custom domains that we were talking about um, so this uh, detailed dis uh, description, description how to, uh, to get it enabled and to get it worked. Uh, let's back to our presentation. So um, what I want to pay your attention at one is uh, that you all, uh, always um, should define which uh, scenario, uh, which topology actually a customer uh, is using. For example, if um, his environment and ent environment's entry point doesn't have a public IP, it means that um, scenario number one will work, but scenario number two uh, will not work because all uh, requests to his application and go through a global resolver <coughs> uh, so as usual two main scenarios with public IP and without so uh, we were talking about uh, custom domains um, binding, binding, ty binding type uh, which um, doesn't include uh, public IP and then uh, we will see how, how to work, how to bind custom domain uh, using public IP and uh, to bypass resolver. So let's see how it works. Scenario number one. If we navigate to uh, Jelastic dashboard, I've already created two test environments. This uh, uh, I've called uh, one standard way and the second one uh, via public IP. Uh, so what I need? I need to um, emulate a DNS server. So I will use a host file on my local machine. I'm using Windows, so this is a host file that supports um, initially domain bindings um, by IP only. <coughs> so. Um, Let's check. So, for example, I have a custom domain, mytestdomain.com. Then I need to specify a public IP of a resolver. How to get it? We need to execute just simple uh, ping command, uh, and as a result, get a public IP of resolver. Um, just one note. It's not recommended to uh, bind um, custom domain using uh, public IP of resolver because uh, if uh, there are more than two resolvers on your platform, um, it's much better to bind custom domain um, by, by means of using CNAME. But uh, as I'm using Windows, so it's not supported to use C name, so I will use um, a public IP of resolver as an exception. So let's get it. Just let's navigate to online service, and I've already executed ping uh, and got public IP of resolver. Then I need to specify that public IP opposite to my custom domain do save then according to 
um, this instruction we need to um, make actually a specific node uh, on the resolver it can be achieved by by means of adding uh, custom domain right to uh, custom domain section uh, from settings just copy our domain copy and paste bind since this moment um, Gelastic has a uh, re uh, relevant record on a uh, resolver, actually in database, that uh, this custom domain corresponds to this environment. So how it works, actually how to check uh, whether it's working, just click on that. You, you see that it uh, points to our environment. To get it proved, just run our standard environment. That's it actually. So let's proceed with the next scenario. Scenario number two, when we need to bind a custom domain um, using public IP of our entry point, actually of uh, environment's entry point. Entry point, this is a uh, front-end application server that uh, which is um, in your environment. So if we have a Tomcat. Tomcat will be an entry point. If we have, for example, two Tomcats, so um, in front end of in front of them, we will have balancer. So balancer will be an entry point of uh, this environment. So it will process uh, all incoming requests. Uh, first uh, but anyway so you see that I have enabled public IP for this application server so here it is and actually in this case I need to um, make appropriate record in my DNS uh, on my local machine just uh, to uh, emulate that DNS register uh, and uh, as an IP address I need to specify public IP of my Apache Tomcat. Let's move to this file just to comment it. Click on save. And in comparison with the previous type, I'm not required to specify any custom domain here because all uh, requests will bypass resolver and uh, uh, will come to container with the uh, Apache Tomcat um, directly. So let's check what actually is being run under that environment. It should be a standard page of Apache. That's fine. Then we need to just to run this custom domain. Here we go. As a result we got the same uh, HTML page like we got using standard domain. That's it. Thank you.